Hey there, Caleb Logic of DIY Video Guy here. In this video, I'm going to unbox the Canon XC10, which is actually a pretty solid option for people that maybe are shooting on DSLRs or only want to shoot video and don't need stills because it has a built-in fixed lens. It has this little loop viewfinder thing that you can hold it up to your eye and shoot with. It has really good image stabilization and it's kind of like a mini C100 that shoots 4K at a fraction of the price. So I'm gonna unbox it in this video. I'll do a full review later. You can go ahead and watch that uh, up here, but let's go ahead and see what it comes with. All right, let's open it up. So this uses uh, CFast 2.0 cards. So they actually include one for you. These things are pretty expensive. So this is only a 64 gig, but it's nice that they include one as well as a card reader because most people don't have CFS2 cards or CFS2 card readers. So it's good that they include those. Then you have your warranty and your manual, uh, something I always end up reading if I buy a camera. Opening it up further, you have, this looks like part of the AC adapter. You get a little camera strap that tells people that want to steal it what camera model it is. This looks like a battery, and this is an LPE6N, which is one of the newer versions of the same batteries that go into 70Ds, 5Ds, 6Ds, all the Ds. Let's see what else is in here. This looks like the other half of the AC power adapter that this goes with, so you can run it off wall power if you want. This is a little USB cord if you want to offload directly from the camera. This looks like uh, an HDMI cable down to the smaller size that's actually on the side of this camera. So that's helpful. You get one of their little remote controls so you can push record and have it play without having to actually be next to the camera. And this camera is kind of built for uh, photo, jour photo journalists who have to go out into the field and record themselves doing stuff and also take stills. So this thing can take photos, but it's mainly meant for the video features. This is the loop that goes on the back of the XC10. And it's actually a viewfinder with a diopter here to make sure it's in focus when you're looking through it. And this is one of the coolest parts because it actually attaches to the back of the camera. Also, it comes with a little lens hood here helps with flares and things like that. And then I think the last thing is the actual camera body with the fixed lens here. And this thing's actually pretty small. It's almost smaller than a DSLR and it has the, the, the attached lens on here. The zoom goes from 24 millimeter to 240 which is the 35 millimeter equivalent. So that's pretty wide to uh, pretty zoomed in. It has a screen on the back here that flips up and kind of flips down about 45 degrees. Here is where the CFast card goes. And then also you can put a little SD card to, I believe record proxy files. And then this has a little handle here with the different modes magnification, record, on off, playback. Um, and then you have your, your mic ports here, your HDMI, USB, changing your focus, uh, push autofocus, and other things. This screen here on the back is touch screen and is uh, pretty, pretty useful from what I've seen and been able to use it doing. Um, and then this joystick will help you navigate menus as well if you don't want to use the touch screen. So, Batteries go in here, regular tripod mount, and uh, that's about it for the XC10. So I think that's everything. Did I miss anything, Tim? No, no don't see anything? Okay, cool, so that's it, XC10. Basically you get a battery, memory card, memory card reader, chargers, things like that. So be on the lookout for the review of the XC10 in the coming weeks. I'm going to test it out. I think it's gonna be actually uh, a pretty good B cam to my Canon C100 Mark II. Uh, being able to shoot 
in 4K with some really stabilized footage. And it's so small that I think this is going to be really great for someone that wants to make uh, a lot of videos while they're traveling. So be on the lookout for the review coming soon and I'll see you there.